What's up, coffee drinkers? I'm Chad. Yeah, I'm Luke. And we are the Coffee Nerds. Welcome to another episode of the Coffee Nerds. We'll try out a coffee and let you know what we think. Yeah. All right. Today we're trying out uh, Seattle's Best. Yes. Fair Trade Organic. Yeah. When I saw Seattle's Best had an organic coffee, I jumped on it. Yes, we have to try that. What? Is it French roast? Isn't it? Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> Sixth Avenue Bistro, is that what you said? Yeah, would that be it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. I guess that's the that's the name of it. So maybe not a oh. French roast. Are you recording again? Yes. <laughs> dark roast. Is it dark yeah. roast? Sixth Avenue Bistro Dark Roast. Yes. And I'm going to drink some now. Yes. Very good. Mm-hmm. It's a little different. It's not. It's unique. Yeah. It has a unique smell to it. Scent to it too. Yeah. That's what I was expecting. Very good. Yeah, this one's more bitter. Yeah, a little bitter. Not a a smooth dark roast. Yeah. Very good though. Bitter, slightly tangy. Yeah. It almost makes me think of those, like, uh, when you get, like, the bitter chocolate with, like, a lot of cacao or whatever. A lot of what? C I mean, it's called, it's called cacao, isn't it? Oh. When they're, when they're stronger on the chocolate than the uh, sugar end. I have no idea. Uh, yeah. When you buy real can can't chocolate bars. Uh, you can get them like 75% dark or whatever, and this kind of reminds me of those. Yeah, all around good coffee. Just say no to Hershey's. Fake chocolate. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty good. Though. Very good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. All right, QV time. All right, so we've got some interesting holidays coming up. Today, is the 27th, is Sunglasses Day. The first sunglasses were invented in 12th century China. They didn't protect against UV rays, but they could still obscure the eyes. Chinese judges would wear smoke-colored lenses to help themselves seem emotionally aloof while trying cases. How funny. And more importantly, the 28th is Paul Bunyan Day. Heck yes. Yeah, so there are a lot of crazy stories about Paul Bunyan and his big blue ox babe, mostly dating to the late 1800s to early 1900s. Uh, Minnesota's 10,000 lakes are babe's footprints. The Grand Canyon was made by Paul dragging his axe behind him. Yeah, crazy stuff. Um, it took five storks to carry Paul to his parents in Maine. He was that big already. And they kept him in a bed off the coast of Maine. And when he would rock it, rock it, it would create such big waves, it would flood the coastal towns, and the townsfolk were not happy. Uh, when Paul was short on help, 
He trained giant at ants to help him. They weighed over 2,000 pounds and ate nothing but the best Swedish snuff. I don't know what Swedish snuff is. I was going to look it up last night, but I for- completely forgot. Oh, it's literally Swedish snuff, not stuff? No. <laughs> oh. The ants did the work of Nothing's 50... Like tobacco. Okay, that's, that's what that's I thought. Like that stuff you put in your cheek. Okay. Yeah, a bit. Chew, I guess. I think it's called chew. Yeah. yeah. The ants did the work of 50 ordinary men. In the winter, Paul bundled them up for warmth so they wouldn't hibernate. Poor little ants. Poor giant ants. Oh, That's more terrifying. Giant. Yeah, and uh, his hot cake griddle was greased by men skating on slabs of bacon. Heck yes. Um, I thought that was kind of funny, too. There's another one about, like, his stove was, like, as big as, a, as, as an acre or something. Yeah. The yeah. stories came from lumberjacks telling stories around the fire. It kind of reminded me of, like, an old-timey Chuck Norris. Like, people just telling, like, crazier and crazier stories. Because there, there was actually, I think there were two guys that the Paul Bunyan legends may have originated from. One of them was this, like, Canadian. I can't remember the other one. French or something? Yeah. Possibly French-Canadian. Uh, also, Waffle Day <laughs> is on the 29th. Waffles date back to the 1300s in Greece. Flat cakes were cooked between two metal pans and served with cheese and herbs since maple syrup wasn't around. Actually sounds kind of good. I don't go for sweets, but... Yeah. I'd, I'd have some cheese and herb waffles. Yeah, sounds really good. Surprisingly. Hey, right? We just needed to travel back to 1300 degrees, Chad. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure to check out Seattle's Best. Yeah. If you like a little bit of a more uh, bitter, dark roast. Yeah, and uh, have fun uh, celebrating Paul Bunyan Day. We'll see you next week. Hey there, coffee drinkers. It's your pal, Copy the Cap. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. And be even more sure to let us know in the comments if there's a coffee you'd like us to try. And be even more more sure to check back next Wednesday for another brand new episode. Bye!